Good morning, Grantsville Elementary. This is the Bulldog News for Wednesday, October 11th, 2017. I am Brandon. And I'm Hannah. Please stand for the pledge. Today, Boston Town, we have a pair of socks, a backpack, a gray shirt, a white shirt, a pink jacket, a gray um, sweatshirt, a green coat, another coat, this pink and black coat, and this black sweatshirt. Please remember to put your name and initials on your school items so if they get lost, they can be returned to you. Tomorrow is a noon dismissal. Friday is no school. Lunch today is breakfast for lunch, pancakes and sausage patties, or turkey and cheese sandwich, or chicken nuggets, tater tots, orange wedges, deuce cup and milk. Thursday's breakfast will be a cereal, sausage biscuit, mandy and orange cup, orange pineapple juice and milk. Wellness Wednesday, and now a healthy tip from our nurse. Good morning, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. If you don't already know, October is Fire Safety Month. And last Friday, each of the youngest in the family took home a newsletter about fire safety that I hope your parents looked over and reviewed and talked to you about a little bit. If they didn't, you may want to go home and ask them where the newsletter is so you all can read it together. Maybe when you sit down to have supper tonight or while you're doing your homework. Um, anyway, have you ever wondered what you would do if that happened to you? Uh, we hope not. We hope it never happens to anyone. But there are some important fire prevention uh, and safety tips that I learned and that everyone should listen to. Don't touch matches. Stay away from lighters and candles too. Don't touch radiators or heaters. Ask a grown-up to turn on a heater on or off for you and don't stand too close to a fireplace or a wood stove either. I've actually had kids come in that had burns because they tripped or fell when they were playing near a wood burner or a stove and uh, had gotten themselves burned when they fell against it. Um, don't play with electrical cords. Don't play around in the kitchen, especially when there are pots cooking on the stove. Don't put anything over a lamp. Things thrown over a lamp like blankets or clothing could catch fire. If there is a fire, be prepared. Make an escape plan. Work with your family to plan how to get out of your home if there is a fire. Plan two ways out of every room. The first way out should be a door. Choose a meeting place. Pick a safe and easy to remember spot outside your home where you will meet your family after you get out. Practice. Just like we practice fire drills at school, Every escape path needs to be planned and practiced with grown-ups. Test your smoke alarms. Help grown-ups grown remember to test smoke alarms monthly and to put in new batteries twice a year when the clocks change, and that's coming up soon in November. Be safe. Get out fast. When you hear the loud beef of smoke alarm, get out of the house. Never hide or take time to grab your belongings or pets. Follow your escape plan. After all, you've been practicing. Feel a door before you open it. Why do you think you would do that? If it's hot, there may be fire on the other side. Try to get out another way. Stay low to the floor. Since smoke rises, 
The safest area for breathing is down low. Call 911 or the fire department. Be sure to do this after you get out of the house. Remember, only call 911 if there is a real emergency. Stay out. Once you're out, stay out. Don't go back for anything. And remember, stop, drop, and roll. If someone's clothing should catch fire, remember to stop where you are, drop to the ground, cover your face and your mouth with your hands, and roll back and forth over and over until the flames are out. That's it. See you next week. Today's weather will be a high of 61 and a low of, of 56 with a 90% chance of precipitation. Today in history, in 1984, first space walk by U.S. woman Dr. Catherine D. Sol Solvian. Happy birthday on Saturday, October 14th to Rain Truck. What goes thump, 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 squash, thump, 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 squash? An elephant with one wet shoe. Tune in Thursday for more Bulldog News.